All right. Programming logic. It's Thursday. Just finished up week four. Can you believe it? Day. Checked on our learning. Assignments. Se um, sequence. Talk a little bit. All right. <clears throat> So today I did some demo and we talked about talked about modules. Okay. The idea, the idea is you can bring in a module. We did an example of the math module and we import it. So we imported math module and then were able to do certain math functions. We demonstrated a couple of them. Okay, for example, right here. All right. Then we talked about variables. We talked about string variables, which are characters, and we referred to the ASCII code. We actually looked it up. Here's a couple of representations. And then we talked about numerics and how they're stored differently. We don't need to know a whole lot about that, except for the fact that they are stored differently. A lot of programming languages will have you declare variables. Okay, Python does a pretty good job of just figuring out how you're using them, and then automatically marks them. For example, numeric variables, you could have variables that would be an integer, or float means they have a decimal, and they have values on each side of that decimal. Okay? We reviewed some things from the quiz. Okay? I talked about how important with data. We have data. All these things represented ones and zeros. You know, numbers, strings, frames for a video, audio, pictures, stuff nowadays we represent in computers we use software to turn that in information we can play audio we can view a picture we can watch a movie or netflix we can look at strings characters we can look at numbers and and so forth we use software so we take data we process it in the information the other thing we talked about <clears throat> was this idea about hardware the operating system communicates with the hardware. The application basically communicates with the operating system. And the user, the expert, the user communicates with the app. User interface, um, user experience. A whole world for these people in terms of jobs now. So if we're going to look at that a little closer, again, the OS communicates with the hardware and the app communicates with the OS. That's why we compile our source code to match a particular operating system. And the user typically communicates with the app. Now the experts sometimes, they communicate at all levels. So here's where we're at. The students need to review their quiz information. I've updated this results for Python 3. This is the quiz. We went over that. Um, we're going to take this Tuesday. It's a quiz on sequence and linear. And everything in this quiz is available for me to use in this quiz. I won't use it all, but we'll have some duplicates there of information. So you make sure you know this information here so that we can move forward. That is it.